<sighs> Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, my favorite students. Guess what we're gonna make? We're gonna make a paper bag out of clay. So here's one that I made earlier, and it looks kind of like a paper bag. Isn't that something special? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. I mean, how do you think you would do it? Maybe I want to try and see if you guys can figure out how you would make it. Coils would probably be a really bad choice because, I mean, it would just take forever and it's coils. But if you wanted to make something like this, basically it has four sides. I made it with a soft slab. So let's get to it. Time to slab it up, you know what I mean? Here we go, everybody. I'm gonna take some clay and make a slab, and then we'll cut it out and put it together into a paper bag. Okay, guys, for this assignment, it really helps to have a scoring tool like this, and then we're gonna use slabs of clay, so. I'm gonna start by getting some clay out, wedging it up, and then I'm gonna throw a slab. It needs to be pretty big for my bag, so. And I cut my pieces out. I cut it out when it's wet because we're using soft slabs to build this. I didn't quite have enough so I wedged a little bit more and I threw another slab and just cut the pieces out. Just like that. I trimmed the edges off. I just cut a 45 degree angle on all the sides of the slabs and then I score them. I use my scoring tool that we made in class. Uh, score it up, get the edges wet, and I score it again. Now the tricky part. I'm gonna try sticking all these slabs together. It really helps to have two people. One can help hold it up. But I managed to do this all by myself. <clears throat> you can see the slabs are kind of, you know, floppy. But when I got it all together, it held up okay. Then I like to put the creases in the side of the bag, the folds. I just pushed a ruler in there and I used a rib tool to make the bottom creases. I do it to the other side and Pretty soon, it looks just like a paper bag. Pretty cool, huh? I thin the edges too to make the paper or to make the bag look a little thinner, more like paper. Tried to make a little, some little wrinkles here and there, just to make it look nice and flowy. And then I attached the bottom. So this is where I had someone help. They, I had someone score the bottom for me while I held it up, and I put it on top of a slab and. Stick it together and blend the edges and what do you know? I have a ceramic paper bag. Just like that. Well, there you go. That's a paper bag for you. It's not easy, but it's a lot of fun. You don't have to make it this big. You can go a little smaller if you want. Anyway, have a good time.